Hello and welcome to Crystal Project. Oh, interesting. This game is gendered. Wait a second. I can totally use the controller, it feels like. Max nice HP, max MP. Healing power, activation, luck, or speed. An attack or a tank hybrid that can use many types of weapons wears heavy armor. Magic power, max MP. An attack or a tank hybrid specializing in amount of combat wears medium armor. Monks are fun. Your attacker deals very high damage and circumstances are ideal with medium armor. Best at speed. So, looking at Rogue, Cleric. Healing power max HP. Magic power max MP. Okay, this game is way too loud, isn't it? What's one of those demo? Who carries? Oh. We have a monk, we have a rogue. A little bit of Monica by my side. Prudence! Dear Prudence! Stop stealing all of our things. Monk, rogue, let's see, cleric. Healer, sorry. Let's go Cleric Wizard. Claire again. Charity, because it, she gives so much to the others. Yeah, Wizard, Xenia, Wizard, yeah. Carries the Monk, Prudence, Theo, Rogue, Charity. Yeah, very prudent, very charitable. Very Xena warrior princess and carries. Like, cares. Alright, let's go. For those who are like a more laid back experience with battles and authority, enemies have less HP and deal less damage. Battles will be tough, but grinding should not be necessary. And a little bit not. Let's just do normal. I don't want to spend a bunch of time, you know, grinding. I seek adventure, but I don't seek to have it handed to me. Adventure is about not knowing what troubles will come and not knowing how to overcome them. If the right path is always clear and the possibility of failure is absent, is it really adventure at all? Wow, way to mock people who chose easy difficulty! The Spawning Meadows. Hello there, lass! It has been a joy to see that you've joined us in the land of Sequoia. I assume that you've come seeking adventure. Naturally, you've come to the right place, but you look positively fresh, as if you're about to drive and blow away. Ready to come pay a visit to a lodge for a big helping of stew. There's nothing like a hearty bowl of stew for an empty stomach. Alright, the lodge follows back to there. You can't miss it. Ooh. I found jump button. So it's like, you know, a 2D, semi, 3D. I mean, I can't collect that. Okay, wait, hold on. Options.
Okay. Much better than I can turn this audio back up a little bit. Wait. You never know what you'll discover. Hey, I saw Sparkly. You don't love one child more, you just love your children differently. I don't have children. Water! Oh, look, a fight. Okay. That's fair. <coughs> That's between 21 and 59 HP. Other characters start at level 3 for some reason. Hey, you. Okay. Oh, I've been using uh, R2 to jump. Phoenix juice. Wait, hold on. I got 10 monies. So between 41 and 59 health. Okay. Be nice to people on the way up as you'll meet them on the way down. Probably can make us very proud. Well, I would love to. I kind of wish I could change, like, the icon of who the walking around member of the party is. Do you I'd be stuck looking at just the front person. Okay, somewhere from 41 to 46 HP. Okay, but that one's above 46 HP. Should try to steal something. Trade for knowledge is never wasted. Sick curious, always. Wee! Can we convince you to go for a swim? Meh, well that's one way to beat your enemies. Thing.
Oh wait, passives. Oh. Okay, okay, so you can do that right there. Hi. It's a home pretty may set. Hey. Okay. Drowning points. Okay. Okay. Cost two and it recovers forty health. Okay, we can see like nobody uses a short sword. What's that? You have that, you have that. Both of you would benefit from this. Sure, do that. Keep that. So I need like three more gold. Recovery 50 versus recovery 40. Equip to I'm good. <laughs> Just once, I think it'd be hilarious to see one of these. Uh, RPG games where staying at the lodge doesn't completely refill your health. Wake up well rested. You still have a broken arm, however. I don't know if I'm gonna like get the ability to like jump better or if this is as good as it gets. Who is it? You must have had some dedication to make it up here. Just keep up. Don't look at the calendar. Just keep celebrating each day. Although today is New Year's Eve. 
So, like, who is that? For real. Cute music. That carrot is so creepy. Oh, cool. So a secret factory. Cool. I should give the seal to other people as well. Give the steel skill to both mages. Ooh, level up! Yeah, one is four, two is apparently sixteen. So that'd be nice. I think the game just crashed. Hold up real quick. Okay, well, thankfully at least we didn't lose too much progress. Just about, what, one and a half fights worth? It is stuff that happens. Oh, look at this. This is a bit easier way to get up there, huh? Cool. Don't think I have the earrings, so let's go and pick that up. Free. So there was a game that I played a little while back that I rather enjoyed. And this game is supposed to be similar. It's supposed to be like a top-down Metroidvania-ish style stuff. All right, cool. Uh -huh, you missed.
So now I'm wanting to level up. So I can find, um... Oh, nice. Alright, perfect. Tricky steal from this. Ah, uh, martial arts. Hit that. Oh, wait. Probably should use the magic, huh? Nice. LP, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Single target dagger skill, single target dagger skill, single target dagger skill. Enable equipping dagger, regardless of current class. Okay, so yeah, as we level up the characters, we can like reclass them into different things. So with this skill, even if I change uh, Prudencia into like a mage, I should still be able to have a dagger. Usually critically damaged. Pocket sand, super high ability, inflict debuff, blind for one turn. Right away, you can attempt to run and leave battle, stash change to not use the turn. If you are the target's bottom threat. Always miss this if you are not the bottom threat, but how do you? Okay. That's not a monk thing. Self only built here moves all debuffs. That's cool. Single target ability damage. Ooh, just revive the dead. That sounds good. HP boost. Attack while unarmed is increased by strength. Counter physical damage with counter. I say you take that one. So the cleric thing. Okay. Moves all debuffs, single target magic, what's this? Okay. Revive dead. That sounds good. Right, your wizard on a warlock. Nipple equipping wand regardless of current class. Ooh. Guard physical against physical attacks with resistance to self defense. I'd say, yeah, get magic up. Okay, so like, oh yeah, and apparently you get a little bit of other class things because of uh, your other teammates, but. Mm. Oh, that's useful. And plus 6 AP at battle start, so you can do a 12, age, 12 AP thing at like turn one. Heals the target's HP. Be healing per turn six. Oh gosh, Warlock looks really good here. Refresh your MP and refresh your health just automatically. Can't afford to turn a party member into, into that because that feels yeah, it feels like really useful. Have everyone uh, take some time as a Warlock just to get that. 
and then give them their regular old things. Do, 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 do. Cause I'm guessing that this is like bravely default where you'll be able to level up everyone in every class all the way up. Adventure. One point stone. It's like, hey, look, there's a bridge here. When am I going to be taking that bridge? I don't know. I look a monster. Okay, this needs to be appealing. Wait, 66 only? Shoot, wait. Should have done the other one. I should have checked it. Whoops. My bad. For a 50% steal chance, you seem to be getting that pretty well. Kill you. And punch you. Yeah, you're still burning. That's the world to be turning, but... We'll be fine. Hatchery for fishies, you say? Okay, what does getting onto this ledge give me? Nothing really? Yeah, a lot of people were complaining about this game having a very uh, specific, like, jumping. Gosh, the glasses can jump too. Oh, gosh. Oof. 
Yeah, punch that thing. Take it out perfectly. Oh, that'd be 64. Ah, wait, no. Where is it? Oh, shoot. After that goes. So this is now down. You take out that one. Steal another veggie. Alright. Level six and to that lift for another LP. That's cool. Now, we can't afford to fight another monster. Looks like we're not supposed to be able to jump over here, but I did it anyway. Oh, shoot. Um, we're dead. Prepare to party wipe. If only you could somehow just dodge every attack coming at you. Or somehow use uh, that Phoenix Down we got. Alright, so level 6. How's our health and stuff doing? Looking okay. I say change you from a wizard to a warlock. Double cast cost sixteen less. And shoot to Warlock as well. Alright, alright. So now we just basically have to run all the way back to where we just were. No big deal, nothing. Alright, two of the monsters we spawn. Can we just refight them? Alright, I want to go northwest for the fish actually. Yeah, we can refight things.
Yeah. Can't wait to get a whole bunch of speed put on to a character. Uh, should have tried to steal it. Its item. Can't wait to put a whole bunch of speed on a character so I can try to take multiple turns for each of the enemies one. That'd be nice. Hi, Cinnamon. Stop it, Cinnamon. Oh, hi, Fire. Let's steal that. Let's take it. Yep, those two are always going to be a bit, yeah, just have a bit more XP than the other two because of the whole dying thing. Honestly, I should, instead of giving, having those to have trickery, I should give them uh, dark magic so they can just blast away at the squirrels. Yeah, you can kill that one. have to do this. Yay, did enough. I'm blanking on what that game was that I had played, but yeah, it's like you have to defeat all of the enemies in like a certain uh, order if you want to like, you know, not die, but also like level up and leveling up. We, Yeah, this isn't quite like that, but it is... I should do the 73 is all I need. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's see it. Cool, cool. So I want both of these, but I think that getting the mana one is more important. Oh, the five dead. Okay, so Xenia is definitely getting refresh. They're both going to get the mana one. I love to imagine that having two warlocks in the party makes them both go up in warlock, like, faster. Right, I want that. Yeah, I still don't know what to give you. 
Use a critically damaged pocket sand, single target ability, and put debuff for one turn. I'll take this. Okay, I think having two warlocks in the party does not necessarily increase the class's, like, warlock proficiency. Because, like, if you look at this, monk 24, warlock 17, okay? That's good. Ow. Ow. I wouldn't know. 24, 70. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, plus 3, plus 5. So it does increase it more. Okay, cool. So the two warlocks in the party, everyone's going to get warlock a bit faster. Uh, item, consumables. She's on you. Wait, wait, uh, ability, you. Equip you, subcommit. Oh, shoot, right. Woohoo! To the fish hatchery! Wait, I got this. Take 35% less physical damage. So, give that to you. You're the monk. You're supposed to be our tank. Tonic pouch. Oh, cool. Now we can have up to 13 of that item. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Increasing your maximum capacity of, like, an item? That's pretty awesome. One in the cave to the east of here. Sure. Sure. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing here. I see what the template is here for. The fish actually, let's hatch some fishes. Oh, both of you actually want armor and stuff. Apparently warlocks can use heavy armor. Hooray. You, the monk can wear medium armor?
fish gutter. Two handed book. With three hundred. We'll buy that. Tech plus fifty four. I say, right. Oh, attack by seven, huh? Grip you. Hi, strange person. What is that? I'm sure we'll find that guy again later. He just ran across the water. So you're trying to get damage, 250. That's... Could be useful if we could use items in battle. Because it's usually always, like, the joke item like that that winds up being, like, actually really, really good somehow. Wait a second. I love how this entire place is blocks. I think we're fine. Oh gosh, the way the walls just kind of, everything just kind of fades away block by block as you make your way through it all. So neat. Do, 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 do. So that's just right back here. Hey, monsters, what up? Crunch. You'll be fine. You're fine. Woohoo! Everyone leveled up. Everyone's now level 8. Prudence is like... 40 more experience than the rest or something? Hmm. 
Like, excuse you? Oh, look, it's a town. Plus one AP when using basic attack. Interesting. Attack plus forty four. Max MP plus four. If I wear two earrings, it like stacks. Uh, equip, I think Xena should have it. It's like an inn. Okay, okay. Uh, ba ba ba. Hail Guto. Actually, honestly, wait, before we go in here. Yeah, set this as the home point. I'm gonna have to be following you around everywhere I go. Where you go? Like, are we gonna eventually gain the ability to climb up these vines? Is that gonna be a thing? Yeah. So I get a good sense of just how far I can jump. It's the zoo bat. Oh gosh. Huh, stole a tonic. Curious. Could you offer like two hundred? Two ninety, woohoo. I don't know how much LP they need for this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both of you at least eight to get to that thing. Hi. 
nice, nice. Finally failed to steal for once. You heal you all the way back up. Yeah, I should have tried to steal the thing. I think Monk can get a thing. No. You can get a thing. Make you fall asleep. Attack that top one for a bit. Attack that top one for a whole bunch. And you go attack that bottom one. Uh-oh, not enough. Yeah, whatever. I can start using a few tonics. See, I'm there. Destroy that and attack this. I mean, if I can steal a tonic from each bat, that helps a lot. Hey, look! These are my friends! Hey! Sure. I'm gonna save here. And let's call this an episode. I can't wait to continue playing this. I've This is quaint. This is cute. This is very low stress. I love this game. Let's do some more.
right away here.